and I had a chat with uh, the great Rahul Dravid. He said, you know, if you play um, say 300 innings in a year, you're going to fail 275 times. That is the ratio of, of success, success wow. for batsmen. So if you're going to go and, and, and you know, hold your head in, in the corner and say, you know, 275 times I didn't get run, uh, then I don't think you can play cricket as a batsman. I think that's how the game has worked. With Chris, I mean, in the nets, I mean, obviously, he, he is he is someone who is vulnerable to swing bowling. Uh, uh, he doesn't like the ball to be swinging too much. That's why he kind of takes his time in that first two overs to try and get set and, you know, sign, try and see off the shine uh, in that two overs. But then after, I mean, he looks to muscle the ball. I mean, he's someone who's so strong uh, that even if he miss hits, it tends to, to reach uh, the boundary. So, it's not, a, it's not an easy one to bowl to him. I mean, it's never easy to play 25 years of, of first-class cricket or uh, international cricket. I mean, everyone's bodies uh, will take a toll uh, when you when you travel and play that much. And with Chris, I think, I mean, in all due respect to him, I mean, he's someone who, who still can really win you games. The way he, he, he structures his game, I mean, in the last 10 to 8 years, you would say, I mean, he's completely changed his game. He's someone who takes that first two overs in the T20, you know, to kind of get set and then uses that four overs of power play to really try and capitalise on that on that score. I think Virat Kohli is a very special T20 player and, and I would put him in my teams for sure. Played that 2016 season with him um, as him leading the RCB team. I mean, uh, he's someone who, who has a lot of self-belief, you know. Um, he's a yeah. guy uh, who obviously you see him batting T20 cricket. is again not a big six-hitter. He's someone who keeps the innings very busy. I mean, he keeps the mm -hmm. strike to the guys who are going well. He plays second fiddle at times, which in, in the normal term, Virat Kohli should never be playing second fiddle because of such a great batsman. But I think he's so smart at the game. I mean, he knows and reads situations so well. And, and that's why he's got the 10k run. I mean, um, it's not it's not easy to even get 1,000 runs in, in T20 or an IPL cricket. But I mean, he's proved it here and... and uh, you're out that he's got the ability to 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 win uh, games also fast. We, he's he's a guy who's, who can play all around the ground. So there's not really a, a, a place on the wicket which you can bowl to him, and and he makes you know that uh, mm -hmm. he's someone who who takes his time. And I say busy, I mean busy with taking singles. He's not you know hitting the fielder. He's not he's not logging the dot balls he's always putting the ball on pressure rotating on strike mm. and then weights and picks his areas i think with 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 how he bats i think it's it's about picking a particular bowler i think he's someone who really sizes up the game and says okay you know uh, bowler number four and five are the weak link in this and, and waits for them to come uh, into the attack then takes them down david warner would be my my go-to guy I mean, look, I mean, he came into the, the whole setup as this guy who didn't have much of a technique. He did well for straight in the T20s. Look at his test record now. It's about, all about yeah. self-belief. It's about understanding his games, his his, his limitations, his, uh, you know, how, how he could score in test cricket or in any other format that he played. I think he's a perfect example for the young kids coming in that you don't need to really have look good when you when you bat. Uh, mm -hmm. When it comes to technique, or you know, he's stylish on the ground, or you know, whether he's getting mm -hmm. his foot in place, it's all about uh, finding a way to score runs in in any format. He's a very headstrong guy. I mean, he understands his game so well. I mean, uh, I read somewhere, I'm not too sure whether it was Instagram or somewhere, that he wasn't really too bothered that he hadn't got runs uh, in the past uh, mm -hmm. five years. I think it was for in, in T20 cricket. He hadn't got a 50. I think it was last 50. Well, I think in 2015, if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, it really didn't bother him and, and, and the way he bats as well, I mean, once he gets into his groove, it's very hard to stop him. I think he's mm. also a very confident player. I mean, he knows his abilities in, in, in all three formats and obviously that is where he is. But I think it took him some time initially when he came into international cricket. Obviously, he came in young uh, into international cricket and he had the game, he had the talent, but it was about figuring out his technique a bit. And, uh, um, having seen him and played with him a bit, I think he's someone who really works on his game. I mean, that's that's one mm. side people don't see of it. 
a lot of people said a lot of things about him obviously when he was when he was finding his way up and, and having played with Rohit I think it didn't bother him one bit I mean he knew that he had that ability to to win matches for India and and went out and worked uh, really really hard to improve his technique and and I mean he's got the results now even in test cricket So well here you have it Stuart Binney's top 5 all time T20 batsman and here we go Rohit Sharma David Warner, A.B. de Villiers, Virat Kohli, and Chris Gayle.